I am Kate Calvin, NASA's Chief Scientist and Senior Climate Advisor, and I'm sitting down with Bill Anders, who took the famous Earthrise photo. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, isn't that pretty? Look at the so most of us only get to see what's right in front of us, the sidewalk, the building, the trees. But when you were in space, you had this opportunity to see the planet as a whole, this beautiful blue planet. What was that like? Well, before we got to the moon, I was able to look back at the Earth, and it was about the size of my fist at arm's length. And you really couldn't see any details. It was kind of, a, you couldn't see the continents even, you know, and even the people from orbit you don't see many man-made features, if any, uh, from space. But I uh, thought that it uh, it was really kind of a, it was at Christmas time and it was a, like a fragile Christmas tree ornament. And I thought to myself, you know, it's too bad we don't treat it more like a Christmas tree ornament. And then when I was lucky enough to take the iconic Earthrise picture, which basically kicked off the Earth Day and that kind of thing. It, it, it's really too bad, you know, we're shooting missiles and rockets and whatnot at each other on this tiny little place we call home. It's the only home in the universe for us humans. And, uh, you know, it's too bad we don't treat it a little better. We're approaching the 53rd Earth Day. And as you said, Earthrise has had a tremendous impact on people and the environmental movement. What do you think the biggest impacts were both then and now of the Earthrise photo? Well, it, it, people realized that the planet was uh, fragile, uh, delicate. Clearly, mankind has not been kind to the planet. But could you tell the story of taking Earthrise? We had... Uh, I think they gave me a little bit of photography training. I had a camera I took home, a Hasselblad, took a few pictures, but you know, no, didn't even have a light meter on our flight. And so we were in lunar orbit, uh, upside down and going backwards. So uh, for the first several uh, revolutions, and we didn't see the Earth and uh, didn't really think about that. And then we righted ourselves, you know, heads up and twisted the spacecraft so it was going forward. And while Frank Borman was in the process of doing that, suddenly I saw out of the corner of my eye this color. It was shocking. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? You got a color film, Jim? Hand me a roll of color quick. Oh man, that's great. Where is it? Quick. So I managed to get Lovell to get me a color magazine, put the long lens on, on and started snapping away. You got it? Yep. Just take your thermal. Take your thermal up here. Give it to me. Wait a minute. Let me just get the right setting here. Just calm, okay. calm down, Lovell. Oh, I got it right. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Okay. Now, there's a fair explosion. I did. I took two up there. You sure you got it now? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get him come up again. 